When probiotics and prebiotics are combined together, they're commonly referred to as symbiotics. This mixing of probiotics and prebiotics is becoming popularized, and we're starting to see more food ingredients and dietary supplements classed as symbiotics. But is mixing a probiotic and a prebiotic really a symbiotic? Well, the International Scientific Association for Probiotics and Prebiotics, known as ISAP for short, believes that just mixing probiotics and prebiotics by itself is insufficient for defining a symbiotic. It's come up with a definition for a symbiotic which is more rigorous. The ISAP definition for a symbiotic is a mixture comprising live organisms and substrates selectively utilized by host microorganisms that confer a health benefit on the host. As you may remember from our prebiotics video, a prebiotic is a substrate that is selectively utilized by host microorganisms to confer a health benefit. And of course, the live organisms in the definition of a symbiotic are referring to the probiotic. Now, according to the ISAP definition, the microbes in a symbiotic product don't necessarily need to consume the substrate, which is the prebiotic, for energy. Instead, the prebiotic could be the fuel for other bacteria in the human gut that can improve human health. In other words, you could have a situation where the probiotic and the prebiotic parts are doing completely separate things to help improve health. The prebiotic part of a symbiotic could be helping in reducing inflammation, for example, whilst the probiotic part could be helping to improve immunity. This type of symbiotic where the probiotic and prebiotic are doing different things but improving human health is called a complementary symbiotic. A synergistic symbiotic is where the prebiotic directly supports survival of the probiotic. The prebiotic is either the fuel for the probiotic microbes or can change the gut microbiome in such a way to favor survival of the probiotic microbes. I have to point out that the prebiotic and probiotic components of a symbiotic have to be tested together in a clinical study to demonstrate a health benefit. We can't assume that just because we know that a probiotic gives a health benefit and a prebiotic gives a health benefit, that when we mash them together, we're going to get a symbiotic that produces a benefit. When combined, it's possible that they could even interact negatively. So testing the probiotic and prebiotic components together is key. Symbiotics have been evaluated formally in clinical studies, for example, in treating high cholesterol levels, and they've been found to be quite helpful in reducing post-operative infection after elective abdominal surgery. A great example of where we can find a natural symbiotic is in breast milk, where we have the prebiotic being human milk oligosaccharides and the probiotic being a range of bacteria, with the most important one being bifidobacteria. There are definite proven health benefits to human breast milk, and this is why we're starting to see symbiotics in infant formula in order for infant formula to become more similar to breast milk. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please leave any comments and questions below, and again, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already for some great gut content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.